this problem statement, we actually have a ladder, and the ladder has a uniform weight of 80 pounds and rests against the smooth wall at point B. If the coefficient of static friction at A is equal to 0.4, determine if the ladder will slip. So the stat coefficient of static friction is equal to 0 0.4. Now we need to determine if at this point will it slip given the angle theta equal to 60 degrees. So let's go ahead and draw the free body diagram of this ladder. So here's the free body diagram. At point B we just have the reaction force, the normal force at point B. We have the, the weight of this ladder being 80 pounds and since it was uniformly distributed then it's safe to assume it's right at the center of mass, right half um, at the half point of the ladder, so seven and a half feet from the bottom. And at point A, we have that frictional force, Fa, and the normal force, Na, and we have the ladder being at 60 degrees. So here, we could just do a simple sum of forces along the x and along the y direction to get the reaction forces here. So let's go ahead and do that. So first up is the sum of moments with respect to point A is equal to zero. So we have this normal force and B times the perpendicular distance to point A. So we just get the basically the vertical component of that. So it's 15 feet times sine 60 degrees. Then we have the 80 pounds force also having a moment about point A, but it's negative. So it's negative 80 pounds times seven and a half feet times cosine 60 to get this. Um, horizontal distance which is perpendicular to this force to get the moment. So now let's go ahead and solve for the normal force at point B. So we have NB being equal to 23.09 pounds. So let's do the sum of, of forces along the x direction. So for the sum of forces along the x, we only have the frictional force at point A, FA, take away the normal force at point B. So we have FA, the frictional force at point A being equal to 23.09 so the frictional force at point a is 23.09 pounds so now that the, we found the frictional force now the question is is this does this mean that the slatter is slipping meaning there's motion does it mean is impending motion or about to slip or is there no motion at all is it just static so this is where we actually solve the maximum um, static frictional force, um, which is basically the coefficient of static friction times the normal force at point A. So first we have to solve for that normal force Na. So to do that, let's go ahead and do a sum of force along the y direction. And we see that the normal force at point A is 80 pounds. So let's go ahead and solve for the static frictional force, which is the coefficient of static friction times this normal force at point A. So we get the static frictional force is equal to mu A times N A is equal to 0.4 times that 80 pounds. And so we have the static friction being equal to 32 pounds. And this is what value that we're going to be using to determine whether the, there is no motion or if it's going to slip in this case. Now, one thing that may help you to visualize this is that graph that I initially drew um, in the beginning. Let's go, let's go back to that. So in the region of that there being no motion, we see that the maximum, let's say this is the maximum static friction will be at this peak right where in motion is impending. Now, if we have a friction that we just saw for being less than that maximum, then most likely no motion has occurred. And that's actually what we see in the problem that we just solved right now we see that the frictional force Fa that we saw is less than the maximum static friction, which means that there is no motion. Therefore, the ladder the, um, is not slipping. So that's how we determine that the ladder um, will not slip in this case because the frictional force that we solved for in using the free body diagram is actually less than the maximum. So 23.09 pounds is less than 32 pounds. That means there is no motion and you saw the region that we're in within that graph itself.